How the fuck are you robust troglodytes doing today? It's the Aussie Metalhead here and I am back today with a fucking new edition of a series that I have not done in a really fucking long time. It's actually been five months now to the day since I released the previous bands you should be listening to. So I figured that since we're kicking off the new year, since I took a bit of a break and the albums just sort of piled up on top of me, I will be doing bands you should be listening to edition five today and we will be talking talking about a handful of the albums that have completely gotten away from me over the last few weeks and months, the albums that I have really been meaning to talk about, but just can't find the fucking time right now. Things have been so hectic for me lately. So I decided that uh, for the sake of efficiency, as well as appeasing all of you cunts, I would do Bands You Should Be Listening To, Volume 5. Let's fucking get right into this, shall we cunts? The first band we're talking about today is none other than Melbourne's own Hollow World. Fuck man, have I been keen to talk about this one. This is a melodic death metal bastion of how to fucking do the genre right, man. If you love a bit of Black Dahlia, a bit of At The Gates, a bit of In Flames, a bit of Bloodbath, look no fucking further, man, because these cunts have got you fucking covered. They're a relatively young band, they've only been around for a few years now. They have released a number of uh, EPs and singles. Their most recent one, release-wise, being Beneath the Frozen Sky. I'm not sure if that is their most recently released album. It is the most recent one that they have available on all their major streaming services, so that's what I'm going on for the sake of here. Musically-wise, these guys hit every single goddamn fucking note that I would expect a good quality melodic death metal band to hit, and then some. Everything is kept relatively simple and straightforward, but it's so well put together. Every riff is precise, every fucking note is picked with fucking purpose and ferocity. Instrumentally, I actually can't fault these guys for anything. They really do know their shit. They've crafted some tremendously catchy work, and with the addition of their new vocalist, Ben Roberts, I believe his name is, their lineup has only gotten fucking stronger. They handle lows, highs, low tempo, mid tempo, crazy blast beats. There's a lot of variety going on in their work. I've listened to a lot of what they've released, but my main favourite piece would have to be the EP Beneath the Frozen Sky. And then, to a further extent, my favourite song would have to be the currently playing Rose of Rancid Petals. It is absolutely fucking astounding. It's fucking phenomenal. I'm rambling. I'm going on tangents because this has been in constant rotation, my fucking speaker lately. Hollow World... Melbourne-based melodic death metal titans currently, or at least they will be going on tour with the likes of Psychroptic. Really not fucking hard to see why these guys are picking up some serious, serious traction on the road, and they're getting some major fucking attention worldwide. I fully fucking support this band. I know for sure I'll be getting myself a copy of this album, a fucking t-shirt, a stubby holder, whatever the fuck I can to support this absolutely sensational Aussie melodic death metal. Hollow fucking world can't check them the fuck out, man. The next band we're talking about is Denver, Colorado based extreme metal titans, Veil vale of Nath. Now, this is a very fucking personal band for me, as I actually got their 2011 debut album, The Prodigal Empire. Uh, back in 2015, I believe it was, I found it on Bandcamp and was just completely blown away by the intricate mixture of melodic death metal and atmospheric aggressive black metal. I thought that it hit every fucking major point that I was really hoping hoping that it would, and uh, if I were to still review that to this day, it would get a high fucking recommendation. I still smash their debut album on a regular basis, and I also enjoy their self-titled EP, although that was, was with their former and original vocalist. The lineup has changed significantly since those days, however, and I recently became acquainted with their most recent album, Two. The lineup has changed significantly with a brand new couple of string men and a brand new vocalist. Holy fucking shit have these guys come a long way. Two is easily their most melodic and technical album to date, and I think it is easily their most interesting album sonically. Vocally, things have changed up quite a bit. This new vocalist, Reese, is absolutely fucking insane. He's really pushing some boundaries, doing some different shit that their former vocalist, Ken Sarafin, certainly wasn't. Nothing against him. He definitely had a very unique and an excellent style of his own, but I feel like, uh, Reese's vocals definitely work uh, stronger with the band as a whole, or at least that's how I feel. 
This is an absolutely monolithic fucking experience. I really can't praise this band enough. Featuring the drummer of my personal all-time favourite bands, Necrogoblicon, was one of the things that really got me into this band uh, and has definitely kept me around for the long run. Now, you, I guess you could call these guys a, a form of supergroup, as they do contain some pretty fucking fantastic musicians from the extreme metal scene. But these guys have definitely put their noses to the grindstone, put their money where their mouths fucking were, and really released some music that's worth actually referring to these guys as a potential supergroup. I feel like these guys are a seriously underrated gem at the moment. Sure, they're definitely getting more and more relevant, they're getting more and more exposure as time goes on, especially with the highly anticipated release of their upcoming third studio album. They've already released a single for that, by the way. It sounds absolutely fucking monstrous. Vale of Nath are a band to be paying attention to at the moment. These guys are pushing boundaries, they're taking names, and they're really paving a new way for melodic death metal. I feel like these guys could even become known as one of the leaders of the new wave of melodic American death metal. So yeah, Vale of Nath, pretty fucking sick. Go get yourself a fucking t-shirt, check out the fucking music. I know I'll certainly be trying to get myself some fucking Vale of Nath thread soon. Fuck yeah, dude. Check him the fuck out. The next band I'm talking about is actually an album request. I was recently contacted by the guys in the German brutal death grind band Profanation and asked if I could speak about some of their more recent material. What you are currently hearing is some uh, music off their soon to be released upcoming album Into Cascades of Blood and Burning Soil. These guys have actually been around for quite a fucking while, formed in the late 90s. These guys have had a lot of lineup changes, they've released a number of different uh, music under different labels and whatnot. They even came to Australia back in 2006 for part of an Australian tour and also wanted to personally extend their fucking greetings to all of their soon to be and old school Australian fans. Now I haven't had a chance to listen to a lot of Profanation's earlier material but what I can say after listening to this new album is that this is some pretty fucking high tier shit. Real fucking strong influence such as like Barnes era Cannibal Corpse, Dying Fetus, and some other namely old school festering kind of influences seeping in. Musically, these guys are pretty fucking solid. I wouldn't say that they're really doing anything that's too outside the box, but in terms of riffage, production and songwriting quality, these guys are definitely a cut above a lot of the pedestrian death grind that's going around these days. This might also come from the European influences. I have found that a lot of the European slam and grind that's been coming out lately has definitely had some interesting twists and turns in terms of solidity in production and songwriting value. When I sat down to talk about this album and this band in particular, it was kind of difficult to kind of adequately sum up what these guys are like, since I didn't just want to sell them as just another death grind band. They do what they do quite well. It might not be the most out of the box sort of stuff we've heard in the past, but it's definitely fucking solid in terms of its impact and its production. I highly fucking recommend anyone who's a fan of a bit of good old death grind check out Profanation. Their upcoming album, Into Cascades of Blood and Burning Soil, will be available on March 6th. And for all of you fucking cunts that have been listening to Profanation in the past, fuck yeah, man. They're gonna deliver. You're gonna enjoy what they've got coming. Thank you boys for fucking reaching out to me in regards to uh, talking about the music. I hope you guys have enjoyed what I have to say. Alright guys, I'm only going to be talking about one more band today, but before we do that, I'd like to mention that I will have another video, kind of similar to this one coming out at the end of this week, more than likely be coming out in between Saturday and Sunday, we'll just see how things turn out. The next video that I'll be releasing will be entitled Quickie Reviews, and in which pretty much is exactly how it sounds. Because I took a bit of an extended break from the channel, I was away for a little longer than I intended to be, and as a result, quite a bit of music has piled up on me. So, in order to get back on track to releasing the videos that I really want to do, I figured that I would do a quickie review video at the end of this week to talk about the other albums that I haven't had a chance to really dive into yet on this channel. It won't be too long, I'm imagining it will be around the 10 to 12 minute mark, but I will also be adding 
the inclusions of the bands that I will be talking about in that video in the description so you guys can get a bit of a heads up on what I'll be talking about. Again, if you guys have any recommendations, requests, I know I'm a little bit swamped right now, but as usual, if you have any recommendations, please feel free to let me know. I'm always down for smashing some new tunes. So, let's get on to the last fucking band, shall we? So last but certainly not fucking least, we're going to be talking about the hydroponic slam project known as Maggot King. These guys are a local fucking two-man uh, project from what I understand. The main masterminder behind it is Brad Wayford. Sorry for botching your last name, dude. No idea how to fucking pronounce it. Brad is the local riff meister of groups like Face Grinder and Solemn, to my understanding at least. This is uh, his first side project. He's teamed up with a dude from bands such as Cryptic Abyss, one Mr. Calvin Cobby. Now, these two have come together to form a brutal, disgusting, dank as fuck slam experience for all of us fucking plebs. Let's see what this is fucking like, shall we? So if you're asking yourself, what exactly does hydroponic slam fucking sound like? Well mate, if you have to ask that question, you've probably taken a wrong turn down Internet Boulevard and ended up on this video by mistake. Because hydroponic slam is the state of combining utter, total, dank riffage with all of the daily supplemental needs of slam. So what is there to fucking say here? You got chugs, you got some grooves, you got some sneaky trims, you got some brutal fills, you got gurgly vocals, the classic dry fucking dry cotton mouth sound of the classic slam vocalist. I also particularly enjoy the Pineapple Express sample in there towards the end of the song. It's a slam track, it's what you'd expect. There's a lot of fucking triplets, a lot of low end palmated chugs, plenty of bong rips, lots of weed smoke, and plenty of larynx shredding goodness. There's not a hell of a lot to critique here, to be totally honest, as it is slam, but it is very fucking good slam. It's well done, it's groovy, it's catchy, nothing taking itself too seriously here. I mean, the song's called Keeper of the Cone Piece, for fuck's sake. You're gonna know that these guys aren't out to write some real serious, life-changing shit. This is just some simple, brutal, stony fucking goodness, and I fucking love it. So that's it for today guys, that's all you fuckers are getting from me for now. Like I said, I'll have another video coming at the end of the week. I hope you've enjoyed today's video for what it's worth, it wasn't the fanciest one that I've done. I'm feeling honestly still a little bit burned out, which might be why, you know, I'm not quite as uh, energetic or whatever as I normally am. Hopefully a few good nights rest will fucking change that for me. I hope once again that you guys have enjoyed today's video. Please go ahead and check out the bands that I've recommended, particularly pay attention to Maggot King, Hollow World, and Profanation, as these are all fucking small-time sitcoms who are all just trying to push their band forward. Anyway, guys, that's all fucking for me today. I'm gonna go fucking get some rest. Until I see you next time, fucking stay safe.